Hi, and welcome back to a new video. Today on my lap I have Pimoriat PMXT 66R DK Tenor Sax. The 66R is inspired by old time saxophones like 10Ms. It has a bigger board dimensions, bigger bell and rolled tone holes. This impacts the sound and how much air resistance does the saxophone have for the player. How much? Well, let's compare it to my Yanagisawa 902 bronze model saxophone. The first thing that you probably noticed is the finish. The 66R has a raw brass finish, very smooth to the touch, not grippy like lacquered saxophones, but smooth and silky. The handmade engraving is very elaborate, a little more detailed than on the Yanagisawa. Both saxes weigh about the same, at 3.5 kg. They both are handmade professional instruments, they have blue steel springs, high F sharp key and overall high build quality. In contrast, my Anagisawa has ripped the body construction, giving it more stability and stiffness, yet somehow still remaining light. Partly because the brace is not full like on other manufacturers, but is split into different sections. The sound is not sluggish or muted by the excess weight. Pimoriat is made in Taiwan, while Yanagisawa is made in Japan. Both cost about 3,500 euros, both come with a case, mouthpiece and basic accessories. For the test I used my Tio Wayne Ambika 7 star mouthpiece and Rigotti Gold Jazz 2.0. Please let me know in the comments which saxophone you liked more and why.
They both play fantastic, have great response and intonation across the full range of the instrument. The 66R has vintage-esque sound profile, a big expansive sound with a beefier feel to it. The sound is fat, with a very well-defined core but it has a nice balance all the way up through the register, very consistent sound. It is layered with a lot of bass, a lot of beefiness, very attractive sound. Yanagisawa in comparison feels and sounds more modern, it's a little bit brighter, faster and extremely well balanced. Also I feel more comfortable playing it. Future me here, while editing the video I noticed that the P Moriad was louder and more punchier and the Anagisawa in comparison was more smooth and uh, subdued. While playing this wasn't as much noticeable, they both felt uh, equally loud and punchy. Now back to the video. The case is nice, it's tapered to the body of the saxophone, so it takes less space. It offers good protection for the instrument, it has a lot of room for things, and the saxophone fits very snugly inside, without any movement whatsoever. It doesn't have shoulder straps, so you cannot wear it like a backpack. So what do I like and don't like about the saxophone? The biggest pro is the big fat sound and the looks. The finish looks stunning. The saxophone is very well made and will probably stay in uh, regulation for a long time. Action is quite heavy, compared to the very light action of the Yanagisawa, this feels twice as hard. The octave key needs a lot of movement, about 3 times as much as my Yanagisawa, which is annoying. Hands are rotated more outward than on the Yanagisawa, which takes a little time to get used to. And that's all, if you have any questions leave them below, if you own a P. Moriad saxophone let me know about your experiences in the comments. If you want to support me leave a like, subscribe or even join my Patreon page. All the profits will go into this channel and make me a better player. So thanks for watching and go practice!